Hello, this is Joy in the Villages bringing you the last two weeks of market updates actually. So before I get into the numbers, let me just share a couple of points with you. Our market is still very strong. We're looking at price increases, we're looking at multiple offers, and average sale point across the board here is about $424,000. That's, that's everything. And the market is bringing in many buyers right now, especially Sumter County, who want to live here and live here full time. So we're looking at a most interesting time right now in the villages and surrounding areas regarding our real estate market. And it looks very positive. In fact, I've also put on my newsletter, which is always, always attached to this video, as you know, uh, I put an article on there showing that the prices for the rest of this year are not expected to decrease as they thought they would back in late 2022. In fact, we're running pretty much normal and sometimes it's going up a little bit in price. So we have what I call a deceleration or depreciation in acceleration. There you are, I think that's it. An appreciation and deceleration. So let me give you the numbers for the last couple of weeks. New listings that came on the market, about 76. Remember, we're combining two weeks. We sold about 68. We have put about 73 into pending. We brought 14 properties back on the market and we have price reductions of about 81. Now those price reductions are things like 10,000 here, 15, 5,000. We're not looking at a 45% drop or something awful like that. There are six price increases. Days on the market, this is a very good number. I think I brought this up before. We have gone down days on the market from about 60 down to about 45 days average on the market to get an offer and sell your house. Mortgage rates, of course, haven't really helped us at seven to 7.75. Not much we can do about that. Hopefully they won't go up too much more, but if I could tell you that, I'd be a multimillionaire, wouldn't I? Um, Another interesting stat, we've got many, many young professionals coming to Florida from New York and California. They're earning upwards of about 200,000 a year and they're moving here because they like the lower housing costs. They feel it's a, a, a less expensive place to live, but they're flocking into the Miami areas and to the Gulf areas. So going to be interesting, but quite a number of them are actually relocating into this area. I also have an article that talks about the end of the year prices. Do read it, I just mentioned it earlier. But it does show that little bit of increase in pricing as regards, we all thought we'd really kind of be having to look at this depressing market, but we're not, we're not. And it's very positive for all of us that live here. And the last thing I wanted to say is the entertainment. Of course, we've got Lobby Lobby, we've got uh, the tenor, the cabaret series of Tenor in Love at the Sharon, and that's going to be on September the 25th. You know, the Sharon puts on some beautiful shows, so enjoy it. And this is Joy signing off. I will see you in a few weeks time. I'm leaving, going out of the office for a little bit to take a holiday, but when I come back, I'll get back in touch with you for the regular weekly market updates. Thank you so much.